In this video, we're going to talk about how you can create tabs on your Arduino. So essentially what you're doing when you're creating tabs is you're splitting up your one single Arduino file into multiple files and when you compile it, it's just going to compile one file after the other. Now the reason why you want to do tabs is for convenience. So instead of having one really long program where you have to jump back and forth to look for your functions or variables, uh, it, it makes editing much easier to have tabs for different functions and um, just in general just helping you split up your code making it easier to organize. Now as you can see here this is a example of a project that I recently finished so you can see that I broke down the tabs um, based on the different functions so for the first one uh, I named it global because it contains all of my global variables the initial part where I initiate all the libraries and all the function prototypes but the next one is my setup function so this contains only my setup function the next one's my loop and it goes on and these are just all my functions that I need uh, in order to make my program work. Now to make tabs it's fairly simple all you have to do is click this arrow right here and when you do so just select new tab and you're gonna want to name your file so for uh, for this example I'll name it example and then I'll go ahead and save it. So as you can see we've created a new tab and notice that whenever you create a tab it gets sorted automatically by in uh, alphabetical order. Now, um, now when I was trying to organize my code I wanted the global first, setup second, loop third and then the functions to follow after that. So I created a naming scheme and what I did is I just did it in alphabetical order so whatever I wanted first I just put a underscore and then I named whatever I wanted it want to name it and then B underscore and um, just I just followed through the the alphabet now also notice that when I created a new tab it adds a um, it adds a new file in my Arduino directory and um, if I delete it, so for example, if I delete it, okay, um, it gets deleted here as well. So whenever you're creating a tab, you're just adding uh, more and more files to the same directory. So that pretty much covers tabs, um, and I hope you guys found this video useful.